Hey you guys, this is Mackenzie Dempsey here. I'm the photographer for Team Jilly, and today I'm gonna to walk you through how to set up your Jilly presets on your mobile device. Here's what you're gonna need for this. You'll need to download the free Lightroom app. It's available for both iPhone and Android devices. Once you've made your purchase, you'll receive an email that includes the links to download your files. Click this link to open your browser. Ignore this yellow disclaimer that you see at the top. Here you'll see three folders that contain your files your desktop and mobile presets, and your instruction manual PDF. Click to expand the mobile folder. You should see eight files drop down. Click the individual preset file link. This will open a new window that contains your preset file. Okay, so don't be alarmed here. You're gonna see a blank white screen with a white box at the top. This is totally normal. Just click the small box with the arrow at the bottom center of your screen and select save image. Return back to your other window and repeat this with the other seven preset files. Now go ahead and open your Lightroom app and create a new account if you don't already have one. You're going to create a new album where your preset files will live. Click create new album and type in JH love presets. Hit OK. You're now going to add your preset files into the album. Click the small plus sign photo at the bottom right hand side of your screen and your camera roll will open. The presets are these black squares at the top that say DNG on them. Select all eight of these squares and hit add photos. You should now be able to see your preset file images loaded in the album. Now I'm gonna show you how to edit a photo using your presets. Click the preset that you'd like to use. For this example, we're gonna use the family love preset. Select the preset and let it load. If you want to save your preset within the app itself, scroll to the far right hand side of your screen and select presets. Hit the three dots at the top right hand side and select create preset. Title your preset and hit the check mark at the top right hand side. Repeat this with each of the other files so that they're easily accessed within Lightroom. Click the three dots at the top right hand side of your screen and select copy settings. Hit OK. Now you're going to select a new photo to edit. Click the arrow at the top left hand side of your screen and press the plus sign at the bottom right hand side again. Select a new photo from your camera roll that you'd like to edit. Click the three dots at the top right hand side again and hit paste settings. If you've applied your preset but you're not quite loving how your photo looks yet, there are three tools you can use that will make a big difference. Your exposure, white balance, and tint. Down here on the light tab, you can adjust your exposure to make your photo brighter or darker. I'm gonna increase this just a little bit to make it pop a bit more. If your photo is too bright, move this down, and if it's too dark, move it up. Next, you're gonna adjust your white balance over on the color tab. This is basically the temperature of your image. So if it's looking a little bit blue, slide your finger to the right to warm it up. And if it's looking a little yellow, slide it to the left to cool it down. I'm gonna cool this down just a tad to take out any yellow in the bedding. Last but not least, I'm gonna adjust the tint. Tint is what makes your photos more magenta or more green. I'm gonna increase this just a little bit to make it a little bit more pink. I always use these three tools at the end to make sure my photo is just right. If you apply your preset and your photo doesn't look great right away, don't panic. Try these three adjustments until you've got your photo looking the way you want it to. To save your image, just click the export button at the top right hand side of your screen and press save to camera roll. And that's it. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Please comment below if you have any questions or comments and make sure to use the hashtag Jilly presets on Instagram so we can see all of your beautiful photos. Happy editing.